What's up guys, my name is Hafo and uh, today we got something a little different because SolarSam14 said that he would make a tutorial for uh, my channel and uh, he's a really nice editor, really sick and he's a friend of mine and so will you go easy on him please guys, it's his first tutorial and uh, I think he did a really good job of this and I know lots of you wanted this tutorial as well so uh, yeah I hope you enjoy guys and go subscribe to his channel because he's going to be doing more hopefully so yeah, see you guys Hi everyone, my name is Sosan, and today we have a tutorial. This is not something we usually do. I'm usually just an editor, to be honest, but I um, thought I'd do something different, do some variety, and now you guys like variety. Okay, today we're going to do the effect that was at the start. It's kind of where the, the colour correction turns on, on the, like, it like flashes the sides go inwards, and it the colour correction turns on. This is a really nice effect. It's work well on like trick shotting kind of edits and stuff, so so yeah, hope you enjoy it. Okay, so open up After Effects, then um, just do what you do, and make a new composition, import your clip. I've already added Twix to this because um, it's just easier, it just saves time. You can add Twix, I think um, Hafo kindly said that he would um, post this on his channel, so if you're watching on his channel, hello, welcome. <laughs> Um, I think he already has a Twix the tutorial, so if you want to check that out, if you if you want to use them together, they work really well together. But um, but okay, so <clears throat> import your clip. You then um, find the place where you want the uh, find the place where you want the CC. We're well, going to call it the CC explosion because that, that's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> okay, so find the place where you want it to start. We want the, the size to go in, to come out even. Then you go effect, uh, distort, and then optics compress uh, compensation. Okay, so that'll just bring up the snoo. If I just minimise the twix, it could be confusing. Okay, so there you go. And then you want what you want to do is click reverse lens disto. Click that. Just check it. And then you click a keyframe on field of view. So just keyframe that. And then go forward a keyframe, just one. And then change the field of view to something better. As you can see, the edges are going outwards. I'm probably gonna. You can make it to how big you want, but I don't know, 70 maybe. You want to go forward a few frames. I'm just gonna go forward a couple. And then. Change it back down to which way is it? Click it and then change it back down to zero. Okay, that's all green. Yeah, as you can see on here, the this green's flashlight. The corners go in outwards rather. So then you find the point where it starts, uh, which is there. As you can see, that's the, that's the peak of its peak of its um, enlargement. You then split the layer. My you could usually click Control Shift and D, but mine's not working for some reason. I've tried it many times, but if you just go Edit and Split Layer, that'll do it. On this layer, you have to, you can import your color correction. I'm going to use Magic Bullet Looks because it's my favorite type, but you can use Curves on no ramp, whatever color correction method you use. Um, so you load up whatever you're doing. You can import your color correction. Um, that one. That's quite dark if you say. Get rid of saturation. Make this less red. Or whatever. Just make it purpley because it's kind of cool. I know it's a really bad colour correction. You should take more time on it. But that'll do. Actually, no. Just just take more time on it because this is really bad. As you can see. Yeah, let me just preview it. See what. As soon as it like zooms in, the color correction turns on. It makes a really nice effect. Let's see, let's see that. Yeah, as you can see, look. Yeah. As it flashes there, the screen changes to the color correction. This is the effect that's, that we're trying to create. 
<coughs> this is for the people that don't have CC lens, because CC lens is a different way of doing it. Um, it's the way that you should do it, to be honest. But well, it's not the way you should do it at all. It's just, it's just the way that it's supposed to be done. Uh, well, it's not that at all. It's, it's an effect that does it for you, but um, and it's usually in distort, and then it will say CC lens, but. I have no idea why I haven't got it, and a lot of people haven't, so if you have a comment or a reason why I haven't got it, I know it's on this, I know it's on CS4, but I've seen a lot of people with CS5 that have it, so just tell me if you know. But anyway, that about wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, it's my first ever one, so gotta give me some credit. <laughs> Let me know how I did. Anyway, thank you, see ya.